Uh, hi, welcome to our second video on analog filters. So, in this, we'll see the first order RC high pass filter. We'll see, uh, of course, uh, this is the transfer function of a first order filter. So, having poles and zeros located at omega naught uh, and a naught by a1. So, for a uh, high pass filter, so uh, a naught happens to be zero. So, a1 is a non zero quantity which results in a transfer function given by a1 s divided by s plus omega naught is the transfer function of a first order high pass filter. We will see uh, the location of uh, uh, 0 and a pole. So, since uh, the numerator has got the a1 into s which is indicating that there is a 0 located at the origin of uh, s plane and this indicates that so there is a pole at a frequency omega naught from the origin towards the left hand side of the S plane. So, this is located at minus omega naught and there is a 0 at uh, origin. This is a border plot of uh, high pass filter. So, it starts with a slope of plus 20 degree per decade because there is a 0 at the origin. So, from the beginning frequency itself it is having a uh, slope of plus 20 degree per decade. Since we have a uh, pole at uh, minus uh, omega naught on the uh, S plane. So, at omega naught in the frequency response, so we are going to have the slope changes from plus 20 dB to uh, 0 dB per decade. You can see now it becomes flat after a frequency of omega naught, uh, meaning uh, high pass filter will going to have an initial slope of plus 20 dB per decade and afterwards uh, the slope reduces to 0 uh, after uh, frequency omega naught. Let us see the passive realization of uh, that RC uh, network using RC network, the high pass filter. You can see this is the capacitance resistor which is realized, which is used to realize the high pass filter. The high frequency gain of this circuit is 1, that is at higher frequencies output is equal to input. Uh, the cutoff frequency of this is decided by the values of R and C. So, 1 over RC happens to be omega naught, that is uh, RC will decide what is the frequency that is 1 over omega naught. Uh, this is the transfer function what we are uh, what we are going to get for this particular uh, network which is uh, transfer function is SRC divided by 1 plus SRC. So, we will see now the 20 sim implementation of uh, the same ok this is actually high pass filter let me change that to high pass filter now that has been modified now this is high pass filter RC network we will see the simulation using 20 sim which is a control system simulator. Now, the transfer function we are supposed to realize is uh, SRC by 1 plus SRC. So, let us assume that uh, RC happens to be 1 milli. So, it is uh, 0.001 S divided by 1 plus 0.001 S. So, let us edit this uh, transfer function onto 20 sim uh, simulator and then try to get. So, this is the editor and let me edit this. Okay, it's already being edited. The quotient of S is point uh, not not one. Okay, I'll reduce this to okay. Now this is point not not one. This is uh, this is the quotient of uh, S. This is the quotient of S for zero. Same is over here. So sorry. Now what I have is uh, there is no quotient of S for zero. Let me take out this because I have only quotient of S. So this is uh, actually this happens to be quotient of uh, S, ok, that is fine now. Let me apply this and try to see what I am getting. Uh, let us go to pole 0 plot and see. Uh, actually, this I am not seeing a 0 over here. Uh, the mistake what we have done here is so you can see uh, this would have been uh, ok, I have to have a 0 here. So, this is 0. So, this is quotient of S. This is question of S for 0. Now I will get it. Uh, now we should have a 0 at the origin. So that is what we have. So this is the, you can see here also it is now 0.001s and uh, 0.001s plus of 1. So this is the location of uh, uh, 0 at the origin. The pole is located at uh, 1000 radian per second from here origin which is uh, what you have seen in the so that is what you have seen here so this is the location now you can see this is located omega naught this is at the origin 
so let us just go back to the 20th century simulator and then try to see the uh, this is the pose zero plot let me see the border plot of it the border plot is uh, over here now you can see this is a border plot as you can see here this is having a slope of plus 20 db per decade and it goes till uh, at exactly this point it is minus 3 db so that i can verify here so you can see now so when i'm just keep moving this so just observe this uh, y magnitude and this x value so when that x is close to 1000 so what i'll do so let me just move this over here so now if i reduce this just, just carefully watch this now this is close to 1000 you can see it's almost minus 2.7 when it is uh, exactly minus, uh, you can see now it's almost close to 1000 radian per second. Now it is minus 2.95, which is almost equal to minus 3 dB. So at minus 3 dB, it will exactly equal to 1000 radian per second. You can see the phase is initially start with uh, a phase of 90 degree. Afterwards, uh, as the value of omega increases, it becomes uh, zero degree so that's what is the phase now you can see phase is almost becoming zero at higher frequencies at exactly 1000 radian you can see the phase will be exactly 45 degree so it will be plus 45 degree when when this is at exactly 1000 you can see it's almost 45 degree this is almost close to 1000 radian per second so likewise this is the border plot of uh, high pass filter having the initial slope of plus 20 per decade and after 1000 radian per second the slope becomes uh, 0 db per decade and of course the dc gain happens to be sorry not the dc gain the high frequency gain is 1 here so that's why you have a 0 db so 20 log of 0 happens to be uh, 20 log of 1 happens to be 0 db so that's why you're getting uh, a high frequency gain as 1 so that's what we saw here the high frequency gain is you can see this is high frequency gain 1 so that's why i'm getting 0 dB there so let us uh, do the lt spine simulation of the same so this is okay, let me go to lt spine simulation of high pass filter so i have a high pass filter placed here so this is high pass filter so let me take out this Okay, this is a high pass filter having a uh, c of 0.1 and r is equal to 1k so this results in 1.59 kilohertz as a cutoff frequency of this high pass filter let me run this and try to see the frequency response of this which should have an initial slope of uh, plus 20 per decade and it becoming constant so that's what you are seeing here it is plus 20 per decade and it is becoming constant at uh, 0 db so at a frequency equal to 1.59 kilohertz so let me just uh, see that let me have two cursors one at the high frequency you can see this almost equal to 0 db that corresponds to the gain of uh, 1 let me place the second cursor at uh, 3 db down so that it corresponds to cutoff frequency of 1.59 kilohertz just just observe this uh, minus 3 db point Okay, when it is minus 3 dB, uh, the cutoff frequency is very close to. You can see this is almost there. You can see we have 1.61 uh, kilohertz. We expected 1.59. So this is not at least minus uh, 3. It's minus 2.95. So likewise, we get it very close to that uh, uh, theoretical value. So simulation values are almost matching with the theoretical values. If you change the values of R and C, the high frequency gain remains same, whereas the cutoff frequency will change. That you can verify here. If I change the value of C to maybe around 0.01, you can see now the frequency increases by 10 times, so it becomes 15.9, whereas the high frequency gain remains the same. So let me save this and then run. You can see this frequency moves to 15.9. So now let me see what is you can see now it has moved now if you just move it like that okay the 3 db gain sorry 3 db point corresponds to the cutoff frequency which we are looking at as 15.9 kilohertz just carefully now you can see this is 15.9 kilohertz which is 
minus 3 degree close to minus 3 degree so you can see the gain here is almost uh, uh, 0 db you can see it's almost micro db matlab it's almost 0 db so gain is equal to 1 if you change the values of uh, r and c the high frequency gain remains same but the cutoff frequency will change so we will see the realization of uh, an op amp based circuit here this is op amp based circuit so in this particular uh, op amp based circuit the cutoff frequency is decided by this uh, r1 and c that's what you can see here the cutoff frequency is uh, omega naught is given by 1 over c into r1 whereas the uh, high frequency gain is uh, minus r2 by r1 so by changing this r2 r1 we can change the gain by changing r1 and c we can change the cutoff frequency of this high pass filter so let us go to uh, at these points and try to uh, realize the same thing using open circuit so let us go to this we will go to high pass filter open circuit so this is this this is a high pass filter you can see this is high pass filter now we have this r2 by r1 as 5 so gain happens to be 5 and the cutoff frequency happens to be uh, 159 hertz so that's what we are looking at is so let us uh, close the other windows in empty spice and then let me run only the high pass filter so this is uh, the high pass filter once we have so let me run this so gain expected is 5 so 20 log of 5 happens to be so let me see what is the plot this is let me place one cursor at very high gain which is you can see 13.93 dBs so 20 log of 5 happens to be almost close to 14 dBs and you can see the cutoff frequency in this particular case has to be 159 hertz so which you will going to get it as uh, they just come down by 3 dB so that it happens to be 1 point sorry uh, 159 hertz just carefully look at the difference cursor difference uh, there which is which should be minus 3 db just have a look at this minus 3 db you're, you're close to minus 3 db you can see you're almost close to 159 hertz so this is very close to this you can see now it is almost uh, 3 db down so you can see almost uh, this is 3 db corresponding frequency is 159 hertz so this way uh, of course you can see the uh, d sorry the high frequency gain is 13.93 uh, 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 so which will 13.93 uh, dbs so which corresponds to a ratio of 5 suppose if i make this equal to 100 you can see the gain has been changed to uh, 100k sorry this is 100k by 10k now it is the gain is actually 10 so 20 log of 10 happens to be 20 db that's what you can see here this is 20 db you can see the high frequency gain is almost close to 20 db which is 19.84 dbs of course you can see there is a phase shift of uh, minus 90 degree starting here and then it goes till minus uh, 180 degree here so this there is a, a change in the phase this is due to the op amp uh, frequency response so the cutoff frequency of this filter which is supposed to be 159 hertz so you almost have it as 153 hertz so you can see there is a 3db difference between uh, this high frequency as well as the frequency at the cutoff frequency so gain is actually minus 10 uh, that's how you can able to uh, realize a high pass filter both using the RC network using LT spice op amp circuit and uh, as well as using a transfer function of transfer function in uh, the 20 cent so this is the 20 cent transfer function and we could able to realize uh, it in three different forms hope you enjoyed seeing high pass filter in these three different categories